There's music in the whispering wind Blown o'er the plain Listen to the music of the rain There's music in the saddle squeak Birds they sweetly sing Listen to the music of the rain There's music in the beat of the horse's feet While we're riding along the trail There's music in the tone of a coyote's wail High upon the hill There's music in the drifting sand Music that's so strange Listen to the music of the rain There's music in the whispering wind Blowing o'er the plains Listen to the music of the rain there's music in the saddle squeak, birds they sweetly sing, listen to the music of the range. There's music in the beat of the horse's feet while we're riding along the trail. There's music in the tone of a coyote's wail, high up on the hill. There's music in the drifting sand, music that's so strange, listen to the music of the range. <laughs> Well, that's no nugget, Pan. That lets a gold tooth. Well, it's gold, ain't it? Sure it is. Send it into the mint. Well, I'm telling you, Tex. You too, Jim. I didn't buy this gold pan to fry eggs in it. I'm going to strike it rich and quit riding with you rangers for a measly $20 a month. We hope you do, Pan Handle. You mean you hope I quit riding with you? <laughs> oh, of course not, Pan Handle. We mean strike it rich. Well, anyway, I ain't got a chance on this detail we're on now. Why? What's the matter with this job? Well, it's too easy. Looking for one lone bandit when we just got through rounding up a whole bunch of outlaws. Oh, I don't think it's going to be easy. I don't either. You forget that masked man has already killed a mail rider named Jenkins and one of our rangers. That's the only reason I come along. Just to show that hombre you can't kill a ranger and get away with it. Boy, that rider sure is in an awful hurry. He's carrying the mail. Yeah, I can see that. He's sure packing it all right. Tex means he's a Pony Express rider between Yuba and Gold Center. Oh, uh, I didn't know there was any more Pony riders. The uh, miners up in the mountains keep this mail route running.
If you're talking about your stage line, Tom Torres, my mail route, never. You know what I'm talking about, about us getting married. There was a time when I might have been interested, but not now. What made you change your mind? You ought to know. From the looks of your horse, I'd say you've been doing some hard riding. Well, I was in a hurry to get back, but what's that got to do with it? Oh, nothing, only I've often wondered about your mysterious trips. You know, that bandit rides a paint horse like yours. Well, you don't think I'd do anything like that, do you? I don't know. Only somebody's trying to break up my mail route. Well, I've always told you it wasn't a job for a woman, so why don't give it up and let's get married? Thanks, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do my best to make you change your mind. Bring him here, ma'am. Oh, you did right. He's my brother, but what happened? He was shot in the shoulder by a bandit on a pinto horse. Quick, get Dr. Garson. You'll probably find him over at the saloon. Morning for your usual eye opener. What's the matter? Broke again? No, no. I had to go over to Blair Ranch. Baby's got the colic. Riding in the heat sure makes a man dry. Sure it does. Come on, let your whistle. Uh, are, you, are you Doc Garson? That's right. Well, Kitty Collins wants you right away. Her brother was shot by that male bandit. That bandit's a low-down coyote. And I'll be glad when he's caught and hung. Say, so you'd better tell Sheriff Bisbee. What kind of bookkeeping is this, Hannibury? Add them figures again. I'm sorry, Mr. Sneedy, but I got the agony again today. Oh, my rheumatism is hurting me some awful. The doc promised me some liniment. Hey, Sheriff! Hey, Fifty! Huh? That bandit struck again. Got Walter Collins. Yeah? Anybody see who he was? Don't know. A stranger told us about it. And well, where's the stranger? Headed for Kitty Collins' place with Doc Garson. Kitty Collins? Well, well, come on. Hey, hey! Wait a minute! Did the mail... Did that robber get the mail sack? Oh! Well, did they care about my little bagel? Oh. Hold on, everybody. Hold on now. I'm here. I'll take charge. Who are you three, and what are you doing here, and give them an account of yourself? Well, I'm Jim Steele, and these are my friends Tex Wyatt and Panhandle Perkins. Yeah, we're, we're heading for Gold Center to do a little prospecting. Somebody took the bullet I removed from Wall's shoulder. I put it right there on the table. Well, that bullet was valuable evidence. Now, don't move, because I'm going to search every one of you. Stand up. Hey, Sheriff, you forgot to look in his boots. Oh, well, yeah. Take them off. All right, you're next.
Somebody's got that bullet, and I'm going to find out who's concealing evidence right now. Sure, if you do your questioning somewhere else, Walter's gone through enough for one day. All right, Kitty, now don't get excited. All right, outside, you three. I think we'd better all get out and let Walt get a little rest. Come on. Oh, you get out of town. We don't like strangers in Uber. But the sheriff told us we had to stick around. Well, if you're smart, you'll listen to draw, not the sheriff. Now, look here, Sneely. I'm running this. I figured these three could have shot Walters and then brought him into town to cover up their tracks. That's mighty smart reasoning, Sheriff. Mighty smart. Yeah, uh, we're under suspicion. Well, we can't leave. Well, all right. Do as you please. But don't say I didn't warn you. Walter wants to speak to Tex and Jim. Would you please come in the house? What do you make of those three of them draw? I don't know what to think. Look like lawmen to me. Did either one of you get that bullet? Not me. I didn't. Oh, I wish I had my liniment. Hey, where are you going? No place. Look here, what was you doing when Walter Collins was shot? Panning for gold. Did you find any? Yeah. Well, what, well, what are you going to do now? Pan for gold. Down in that creek. You're going to stay right here. All right. Doesn't matter where you pan. Gold is where you find it. Hey, wait a minute. I got to ask you some more questions. Now look, Sheriff. Why don't you wait and question all three of us? I know my two pals pretty well, and, well, they ain't going to run away. Well, I know they ain't. I told them to stay here. That ain't the reason. Somebody else told them to go. You mean Sneely and his friends? That's just who I mean. Hey, look out! Now listen, Sheriff. I realize you got a tough job trying to capture that bandit. But I promise you we won't leave town. In fact, we might even be interested in helping you. Now why don't you run along back to your office? Well, it is getting around my eating time, and I get mighty cranky if I don't get my meals. Well, why don't you run along and eat? There ain't nothing worse than a cranky Sheriff. I think I will. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, sis, but the miners at Gold Center are talking about canceling our mail contract. I was afraid of that. I know there's too much mail being stolen and too many riders being hurt or killed. That's right, sis. Somebody's after our scalps. Any idea who? I... I have a hunch. I'll be sure if they give the contract to Tom Torrent. You think it's Torrent just because he rides a pant horse? Torrent rides a pinto? Yes, but I don't think he had anything to do with it. It's either Sneely or Draw. What's the difference, anyhow? We're going to lose the mail contract. Maybe we can help. You? Well, the sheriff thinks we shot Walt, so I suppose we'll have to clear ourselves before we can leave. Walt, I think you've been talking too much. Jim, help him relax. Sun's gone down, coyote stars are peeping through. Over the hill, there's a ranch lights gleam. I'm a wander, wandering home. For many years, I've roamed around. to see someone waiting for me just to wander wandering home past the trail where we used to ride in days so long ago each landmark brings a memory of things Settle down, no more I'll roam, my rambling days are done, the welcome lights are a bear. 
taken and me. I'm a wanderer, wandering home. I thought I'd drop by and leave this medicine for Walt. Seems to be getting along all right. In fact, you all do. Oh, well. We were just leaving. Oh, don't let me scare you away. You're not. But the uh, patient here needs some sleep. Oh, boys, I want you to know how much I appreciate all you're doing. Glad to help, Miss Collins. Yeah, that's right. Well, there's no need of my staying here. You give him a teaspoonful of that every two hours and call me if he shows any signs of fever. Come on, Panhandle, cut out the foolishness. You can't find any gold there. <laughs> Maybe I can't find gold, but I sure can find lead. A bullet? Yeah, and it's my guess it's the one Doc said was stolen. It must have been thrown out of that open window. Well, that's what I thought, uh, so I started panning. Somebody must have been afraid it would be identified. Well, whoever it was has good reason to be nervous. This is a 41 caliber. Yeah, not many men carry guns like that. First, it was a mysterious mask umbry on a pen on nag we was looking for. Now I suppose we're going to find a man with a 41 caliber six gun. That's exactly what we're going to do, Panhandle. And I can't think of a better place to start looking than the saloon. Come on. Straight bourbon, Tommy. Uh -uh. Oh, I've got the money. Let's see it. Start pouring. What? Mr. Torn. I always thought you held the ace of hearts with Kitty Collins. What makes you think I don't? Mm, nothing. Listen, Doc, don't start something you can't finish. What's on your mind? Well, I stopped in to see Walt. And one of those strangers was singing a love song to Kitty, and she seemed to like it. She That's enough. Now keep your trap shut. Well, I just thought you ought to know that you were losing your girl, that's all. You go tell those strangers they better start traveling quick, because I'm coming looking for them. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Don't take Doc too seriously. I think he likes to stir up a fight just to drum up trade. If that's what he's looking for, he's going to get it this time. if I were you. Why not? Torrance in there and he's after your hide. It's lucky I met you boys. Now you'll have a chance to sneak away. Thanks, Doc. Uh, 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 uh. What will it be, Chet? Three double sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla? Oh. Which one of you birds thinks he's a thrush? Well, I do a little singing, if that's what you mean. Well, that's what I mean, all right. But from now on, you'll do your singing someplace else.
you're going to get a chance to listen to this thrush. Sing the gentleman a song, Jim. Many tears I shed, dear, the night you went away. I begged you to forgive me somehow. Someone came along to cheer me since you went away. It's too late to say you're sorry now. Many hours I waited for a call that never came, saying you were coming back to me. It's better for us both if we never meet again. It's too late to say you're sorry. You three strangers coming in here tearing up things. Well, maybe we like the excitement. Say, who's going to pay for my broken furniture? Well, don't get excited. Well, no, 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 excited. Now, pay me, pay me. Hurry up, quick, 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 quick. One, two, three, four. Give me the whole thing. Don't feel bad, Jim. We got what we wanted. If you want any more of it, just stick around this town. Oh, I don't think we'll be very far away, Tarrant. In fact, you can look us up anytime. Never mind that draw. Keep your hand away from that guy. No, let him reach for it, Sheriff. It ain't. I'm blind. No, I'm broke. I've been robbed! Oh, Sheriff! Sheriff! I've been robbed! I've been robbed! Sheriff! Sheriff! I've been robbed! Oh, Sheriff! Come on, Panhandle, let's see what you got. My gold tooth. These are all 45s. Say, are you sure that's the size of the bullet, Jim? Well, here's a 41. Take a look for yourself. Yeah, it's sure different, all right. Of course, any one of that quartet could have a 41 that they don't pack, except when they're holding up the mail riders. Yeah, and I suppose they could all have pinto ponies, too. Here's the horse liniment for your rheumatism, Hanneberry. Well, thanks, Doc. How much do you? Oh, there's no hurry. <laughs> I'd sure hate to be in Torrance's boots when Kitty Collins finds out that he's been fighting over her. You wouldn't be thinking of telling her, would you, Doc? Mm, well, I think she ought to know about it. Well, <laughs> maybe so. How's your brother? He lost a lot of blood, but he'll pull through all right. Hey, that robber get the mail sack? How do you think I got your medicine? Those three strangers showed up in time to save Walt and the mail, too. Oh. Boy! That ought to kill me or kill me. We've been here three days and haven't found a hot trail yet. Yeah, except that the man that seems to have the most to gain is Tom Torrent. He owns the stage line. Maybe we'll run into something today out in the pass. That bandit always seems to strike around that rough country. Sure hope so. Horace, there's a pinto pony tied up to the Collins hitch rack. Jim, you and I'll trail him. Panhandle, you stick around town, keep your eyes open. My eyes are always open. Uh, except when I'm asleep. What am I, a chattel that men fight over? Oh, it's not that, Kitty. I just don't happen to like those strangers. Well, I do. So what are you going to do about it? I'll do something about it, all right. If you let my stages carry the mail, you wouldn't be in this trouble, and Walt wouldn't have been hurt. Look, Tom, if what you say is true, and you haven't anything to do with these killings, then why not try and find out who is doing it? I will.
Dodd got that pony rider. Yeah. Look, there he is. I guess you know. What'd you do with that mail sack? Don't pull that, Innocent. We were trailing you, and why you shoot that express rider? Oh, no, you didn't, because I didn't do it. If you weren't guilty, why didn't you stop when we took after you? Would you stop if somebody was shooting at you? I guess we'd better take you into the sheriff. Go right ahead, and I think he'd be mighty interested in finding out what you're doing around here. If you weren't holding up the mail, what were you doing? Oh, not that it's any of your business, but I came out for the same reason you did. I have a hunch you two are rangers, and I'm telling you right now, if you think I shot that Pony Express rider, you're barking up the wrong tree. Let's go take a look at him. That's just what we intend doing. We're mighty curious to find out the caliber of gun that shot him. Made your last move, Sheriff. Craft. I bet you I win. How much? All the change I got in my pocket. It's a bet. Huh? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, I ain't betting that. that uh, that's my gold tooth. Your gold tooth? Open your mouth. Wider. Wider! You ain't lost no front teeth. I know I ain't. Uh, I found that on the road to Gold Center. Yes, right by where Sammy Jenkins, a pony rider, was killed. I'd know that tooth any place. Sam was always showing it. And I'm arresting you for the murder of Sam Jenkins. All right, get up. Get up. Drop your gun belt. One hand. You can cool your heels in there now till the circuit judge comes along. Yeah, well, you making an awful poor fall, Sheriff. You are gonna find it out when my two pals get here. I don't think your two pals are coming back. Looks like they've left you holding the sack. What's up, Sheriff? I'm not taking any chances on these two hombres breaking their pal out of jail. I'm holding him for the murder of those pony riders. Well, Sheriff, he wasn't there this afternoon when another rider was killed. We took the body to the Bar M Ranch. That's right. I told you to way off your base. Now, come on, let me out of here. Give him my two. Sheriff, suppose you tell these men just because I own a pinto horse, I'm not a killer of male riders. Oh, no, Tom wouldn't do that. Why, he used to be marshal down on the Pecos. He's pretty tough, I'll admit, but he's no killer. Thanks, Bisbee. Sorry, Tarn. See, do you have anything on him? No, but a lot of people with clean records commit crime. And that don't mean me, you hasty pudding. Sheriff, I think you better get out to the bar M and take care of that rider. I'm getting pretty sick of them three hanging around here giving me orders. Doggies go to sleep. Don't you mill around. Dangers now are far behind. It's time that you bed down. 
Let the coyotes wail Be your slumber song We'll be here on watch and guarding you Sleep and rest while I sing my song. We'll be here on watch and guarding you the whole night long. I just learned that the miners at Gold Center are going to put up your mail contract for open competition. How do you mean? It's a three-horse relay race from Sand Creek Station to Sneely's Liberty Barn. The man with the fastest horse wins. Well, that lets us out, sis. Not much chance of my riding with a bullet hole in my shoulder. It's just as well you are out, Walter. I'm going to win that contract. I think you know why, Kitty. A race? Yeah. Well, it's a shame Walt won't be in it. It's too bad somebody can't ride for him. Of course, if um, you and Panhandle only had faster horses... What are you talking about? My horse is as fast as yours. So is mine. Well, in that case, maybe we ought to ride for Walt. That's a good idea. Yeah. That won't do you any good, because I'll be out to win. So will we. <laughs> you mustn't race. You'd be taking your life in your hands to run against Tom Torrent. He'd stop at nothing to get that contract. Well, your brother was willing to take that chance, so I guess we can. Right, boys? That's the way I feel about it. Same here. Sneely and his riders will go after it, too. I'm more worried about them. Walt, there was something we wanted to ask you about Sneely. Did you ever see him packing a 41 caliber gun? Why, yes, he used to use one for rifle practice. He and his clerk in a barrier cracked shots and competed with each other. It was a 41 that shot you. Why, you don't think Sneely's a killer? Well, we don't know, but uh, we aim to find out. Now, don't you and Walter worry about this race. If we can clear this thing up, it may never be run. We ain't getting that mail contract. Why not? Of course, there's going to be a three-horse race for it. What are you getting all stewed up about? Sneely and you and me are a cinch to win that race. And there's nothing in the rules about an accident happening to the other riders. Like falling off the horse, for instance. Accidentally on purpose, you mean, huh? Yeah. With that rheumatism of yours, you won't be much good in a race. Oh, I could be feeling all right for a couple of days. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take the first run and hand the bag to you. And you want me to hightail it onto Sneely, is that right? That's right. Now, if anything should happen after he gets the bag wheel, let's go over to Liver Stable and talk it over. Hello, Hannah Berry. How are you? How can you tell a 41 caliber gun in the dark? Don't try to take any gun you find. Even rifles? Yes, even rifles. That's why they make 41 caliber shells. They fit both guns. Hey, do you think there's any chance of finding that fat old pony in here, too? Well, it looks like we're on a wild goose chase. We've gone over every inch of this office. Yeah, not a gun in sight. Uh, I mean, within feel. Oh, oh, my hand! Shh, quiet. Someone's coming. Get back in there. You see who it was? Oh. 
I wonder what they were at. Wait till tomorrow and I'll ask them. Oh, you know, this night air gives me a pain in my knee. Yeah, and you give me a pain in the neck. Maybe you'd feel better if you rub some of that liniment on your knee instead of drinking it. Oh. Good evening, Mr. Torrent. Well, I suppose you've figured out how to win that race tomorrow. I certainly have. I've got two of the best boys in these parts riding with me. Those three strangers look like pretty stiff competition. I think they'll be taken care of. Yeah. I reckon that Pinto horse will take care of them. I'm not riding the Pinto. Oh. A nightcap? <laughs> well, I don't care if I do. I'd like to drink to your success. A setup for the doctor. Well, I guess we're not going to find out very much around here. And it doesn't look like it. But I'd swear I saw that pinto horse in this corral. Come on, Panhandle. Yeah, I'll go in a minute. Uh, I found some powdered quartz here, and I think there's gold in it. Why, that's not powdered quartz, it's whitewash. You found it, Panhandle, you found it! Found what? Well, the answer to who's killing the mail riders. This proves it. Say, why don't you two quit talking in riddles? That don't mean nothing to me. Well, it does to us. Let's get to our starting marks. We'll explain it to you on the way. Wait a minute, Jim. The killer that rides that pinto will probably try to stop us from winning the race. I'll take the finish run into Yuba. Oh, no, you won't. I'll take that spot. Say, I get it. You mean the one that's in the lead at the finish is liable to get killed? That about size it up. I'm in charge of this detail, so that's my job. I don't care if you are in charge of it. I'm taking that last ride. Hey, wait a minute. We'll draw straws. All right. The short one starts at the relay station. Whoever gets the next size takes the middle run. And the one that gets the long one hightails it for the finish line, and that settles the argument. Now draw. Well, I guess I win. And that's the way it should be. Panhandle starts the race. Jim, you get that mail sack to me, Prado, and I'll bring it in. I was worried, Doc. I thought Walt had a fever. Oh, he's all right, fit as a fiddle. Well, I'll drop by later. I don't want to miss seeing that race. Oh, well, Walt wants to watch them go by, too. Will it be all right? Why, sure. Won't hurt him a bit. Uh, all right, you contestants. Here's the mail sack you to carry to Yuba. Mount up. Now, before I fire my gun to start this contest, I want to be sure that you all understand the rules and regulations. As you all know, there's three teams of three horses each. And the first man to cross the finish line with a mail sack wins. But mind you, you've got to stick to the road. No cutting across the hills and taking shortcuts. Now, the first change is at Clark's Corral. The second at Larkin's Cabin. Are you ready? Time to take a nap before your rider gets here. Pretty cocksure of winning, aren't you? Yep. Figure on beating you right from the start.
the odds two to one against me. And unless I miss my guess, you've got a couple of aces up your sleeve. No, thanks. I think I'll pass up that. You're yeah, smart, because you ain't got a chance. We'll cut across to the finish line at Yuba. Easy for you. Yeah. 
right. Do you uh, recognize the handle of your broken surgical scissors, Doc? Yeah. 41 caliber, huh? Where'd you get that rifle? Smealy gave it to me. Well, the four of you are in this together because you want that mail contract, eh? That's right. Todd kept his horse in Smealy's stable, so you tried to throw the blame on him by pretending to ride a pento. What do you mean, pretending? Ain't that a pento? Let's have a look. Rub your hand on him, Panhandle. What for? Go ahead, you'll find out. Paint? That's right. It's a paid horse. <laughs> hey, you're pretty smart, Doc, but whitewashing ain't gonna work this time. I'll take care of the doctor. You get Jim and pick up the other three. All right. Hey, what's the matter? Decrease you? Well, enough to knock me off my horse. Well, we got him. It was Doc Garson. Tex is bringing him in. Come on, we gotta go pick up the other three. Doc messed it up. Wonder where he is. Hey, what happened to you? See, you took a spell. Oh, I just got a little dizzy. That ride affect your lumbago, Henneberry? It sure did. My bones ache something awful. Yeah, your wrist, too? Yeah, you sure do. I can't even hold a pencil. Say, I know something that'll cure that. You do? Yeah, hold them up here and let me see them. There you are. Now you're cured permanently. The sheriff wants to see you three over at the jail. you're happy you won the race. Well, no, I'm not, Kitty, but I hope to be. There's the contract. I won that for you. But I expect you and Walter there to help me run it. You mean Cecil will help you run it, don't you, Tom? I think you ought to accept his offer, Miss Collins. Yeah, there's nothing like consolidation. Sure, keep it all in one big happy family. There's music in the whispering wind blowing o'er the plains. Listen to the music of the range. There's music in the saddle sweet, birds they sweetly sing. Listen to the music of the range. There's music in the beat of the horse's feet while we're riding along the trail. There's music in the tone of a coyote's wail high up on the hill. There's music in the drifting sand, music that's so strange. 